welcome to Diamond Paint with Caitlin. Today I'm here with a very special first look from Diamond Art Club. But before we get into that, I just wanted to thank everyone for their really warm welcome on my first video. You are all so lovely and it's made me really excited to make more videos for you. If you are new here and haven't subscribed, please do consider pressing the subscription button down below. It would mean a whole lot to me. So let's get into the painting. So this painting, as I said, is from Diamond Art Club and it is a collaboration with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now this is a first look, which means it is available on the website currently. Just look at this stunning box. You can get a preview here of the painting. And if I bring it up closer, here is the design. Isn't that so fun? Now the box itself is absolutely stunning and if we go here we can see that this is a square diamond painting and the name is Newt and Niffler. It is 25.6 inches by 36.2 inches or 65 centimetres by 92 centimetres. Just have a look at that box again because it's so gorgeous. If I flip the box around, you can see that the image continues on the side. And it does the same on this side. And it also gives us a little bit more information about the painting. So we've got 52 colours. Five of the special diamonds, the AB Aurora Borealis. And the total amount of diamonds is 96,309. We can also see that super cute image again. On the back, there's some instructions on how to diamond paint. So let's just get this open, shall we? Now, as I said, this is already on the website, so I'll include a link down below to the painting. It is still in stock last time I checked, um, but if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club, I will also include a link. It is an affiliate link, so it does support me, but that will get you 15% off your first purchase. I've gone ahead and opened up the canvas, so this is what you'll see when you open up your box. You've got your canvas and it's inside a plastic bag, which keeps it protected from the elements. You've got your toolkit, and this is one of the brand new toolkits, so we'll have a good look inside this in a wee minute. It's got everything you need to complete a diamond painting and some bonuses. And you also get a little sticker. Now this sticker comes with the name, which is Newt and Niffler. You can see it's a collaboration with Warner Brothers or Fantastic Beasts. You've got the image there. And you can see it's square and the size again. Now I like to pop this into my journal to keep track of what I'm working on and how long it took me. But I know some people like to pop it on their box for their organising, their um, stock of paintings. Or some people like to put it onto their drills that they're using. So if they've got multiple paintings on the go, you know which one is inside the box. So let's have a proper look inside here. So this is the contents of the tool kit. The first thing we can see here is your diamond painting pen. Now every tool kit comes with a different colour. I've got this snazzy black set. It comes with multiplacers. So if you like using multiplacers, you've got multiple options. That was a lot of saying the word multi, but there we go. So this is probably a four placer, maybe a seven. And it also comes with a matching squishy. So this can get popped onto your pen and just gets an extra bit of comfort for when you're using your pen, which is good, especially for if you're painting for a long duration of time. Also, because this is a square kit, it'll come with a lovely pair of Diamond Art Club tweezers. Now I've got the pink set, which is my favorite. I love the pink set. So I'm really happy to have another one. Now, just a warning about these, these are the sharpest tweezers 
I've ever come across, which makes them fantastic for the painting. But it's also good that they come with this little cover to protect your fingers when you're not using them. Here you've got your baggies. Now these are for your spare diamonds or for maybe kitting up if you like to work from baggies. So you've got plenty here for your drills. Here you've got your tray. Now the Diamond Art Club ones come with a little sparkle. And they also have this stopper on the end. Which you can use when your drills are on there to stop them escaping out the bottom. And your pink wax. Now this is the standard pink wax for diamond painting. It comes in a little pot. And you've got it in here. And you just use it by peeling back the plastic cover. And there'll be more than enough wax there to complete your painting, I promise. Pop them back in their little pot. Now these are the bonuses. These are my favourite bits. They are the washi tape and the cover minder. Now the cover minder, this one I've got a little macaroon, it's so cute. And again, you don't know what you'll get in your kit till it comes. But you use that by taking the wee magnet on the bottom, peeling back a bit of your cover, the magnet goes underneath and the cover minder pops on top and keeps the cover back out of your way while working. And the washi tape is here, so you'll have a different design again. I've got these arrows, which I've had before, but they're fun. And they work as so, just a nice colour of tape. Multiple uses for this. I use this to section off my painting. Lots of people like to use it to outline the canvas around the edges to keep the spare glue from getting little fuzzies on it. But it's up to you how you use your washi tape. So I've gone ahead and taken the canvas out of the box and I've managed to get most of the image in frame if you just excuse some of the glare from the lights. If you can tell, it's huge. Look how tiny my hands look. This thing is massive. Up here, we can see Do What Makes You Sparkle. That is the Diamond Art Club motto. And over on the left hand side is our legend and we have the same over on the right hand side at the bottom and then you've got your gorgeous fun image here. Now before we take a closer look at the image let's see what else came inside with the canvas. So this leaflet comes with every purchase you make from Diamond Art Club. If we go inside you can see that you've got a step-by-step -step instruction, but there's also a QR code here, which leads to a video of step-by-step -step instruction. So if you are a more visual learner, this may be for you. There is also a link here to the VIP Facebook group. Now I definitely recommend joining this group if you want to be in a community with like-minded individuals who are all passionate about their craft. It's a really nice space on the internet. And on this side, we've got some tips and tricks to help you along your painting. And there's also a little discount down here for 10% off your next purchase. Here we've got the sticker sheet. Now this whole thing is one giant sticker. So we've got Newt and Niffler, the start date and end date. Then you've got your image here. You can see Newt coming out of his suitcase and the wee Niffler up here. And you've got your information on the canvas down the bottom. So this could easily be cut out and popped in a journal if you wanted to keep track that way. And over here you have your legend. So you can see again that's 52 colours. These are all pre-cut stickers. So they just pop off, easy as that. So you can put these onto your little baggies or if you have drill containers, they just pop off and can get straight on and you can get stuck right into your painting. It also comes down the side with all the DMC colours, which is a universal colour code. So if you're like me and you like to keep your spares, 
it's all ready, all the information is right there for you, which is fantastic. Here you can see that there's five ABs because on a Diamond Art Club painting, anything under 150 on the DMC colour code will be those special AB diamonds. Now let's get in and have a good look at this canvas. Now this image has Newt Scamander in the middle here and he's popping out of his suitcase and his lovely blue jacket. He's got his wand here and he's in this sort of, it's almost like an anime style of artwork, which is just fun, it's vibrant, I really like it. And then you've got his little bow truckle friend here, Picket, on his shoulder, as we should expect him to be. Love Picket, he's so adorable. And then the other main focus of our image is up here with our nippler. Get the glare off him. Now, nifflers love to steal gold and jewellery. And you can see that's wrapped all around him here. And you've got all your little, probably galleons, I believe. Floating about the image. And behind our main focal point is what looks like pages of the other fantastic beasts. Now, I don't know all of them, but I do know that down here we have the Demi guys. I think over here, we've got our little moon calf. The rest I'm not sure, probably somebody knows much better than me and can spot some more and point them out in the comments. Now this canvas came like this, lovely and flat. However, in transport, you may find that it might be a bit more compact, a bit more folded, but it's easily fixed. All you would have to do is grab a bit of the plastic, fold it back, and then flatten it back out. And that would straighten out your canvas straight away. Now I'll just zoom in and we can get a closer look at what's going on here. As you can see, this painting is a colour blocker's paradise. There is so much colour blocking on here. I think it goes with the style of artwork, that sort of anime pop, pop vibe, very bold. You can see it's all colour blocking. Now, because of the size, it's hard to really show the full painting with the best lighting. So what I'm going to do is insert a clip of an up close view of this canvas so you can get a proper good look, especially of our cute little nippler friend here. <music> helps you get a full idea of the image and I've just zoomed in here on our little bow trickle friend Picket just so that we can get a closer look at the charting of the canvas and at the symbols themselves because what I wanted to really show was just how clear the symbols are and how unique they are so it's easy to tell them apart 
Now this is without a light pad and I think most people would be easily able to work on this canvas without the aid of the light pad underneath. The symbols just pop off the canvas and are really easy to tell apart. Let's get in and have a good look at the drills now. So when they arrive, they'll come in this plastic bag that has a little sticker on it telling you the painting. So we've got new and Niffler here. Now this is really handy if you like to store your drills separate from the canvas. So I've already got a sticker on it. Let's open them up. Now it is a large painting, so there is a large amount of drills. So let's go through them. We'll start with here. We've got 948 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bags of 948. Then we've got 310 and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 bags of 310. Now Diamond Art Club 310 very high quality so don't be scared by the amount you should still enjoy working on these i know black can be a tricky color we've got three eight six four and we've got three bags of that three eight six five and we have one two three four five six bags so straight away I can see that I've told you a little why and there's actually another bag of 3865 so that makes 7 in total. And we've got 939, 336, and we've got 1, 2, 3 bags of that, 898, 433. 3750. Oh. Two bags of that. 221. 758. We've got one, two, three bags. 930. Oh. One, two bags. Four two O. We have two bags. We've got nine three eight, and then we've got a very first AD. Now this one is one one eight. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at this. The multicolored shimmer on top. Isn't that just gorgeous? Can't stop looking at it. So pretty. And then beside, we have 104. Now this is another AB. Pick up the shimmer there. There we go. And we'll have a closer look at where these are in the canvas later. 823. And we've got two bags. 3828. 986, 356, 3341, 3860, this is 100, it's another special AB, I just love the green colour this time, 453, 543 
here's another of their APs. The light color with the lovely chef on top. One five four and nine three four. We've got three seven seven two. Three eight three zero. Oh, seven three eight. Three seven seven six. Three one seven. Seven five four. Three eight five seven. Eight three nine. Three seven nine nine. Three eight six one. Four one four. Three seven seven eight. Three three seven one. Nine seven five. Three o oh, six four. Three o oh, one. Three three four six. Seven eight two. Here's our last A B. This one is one o oh, nine. This is another really unique one with the grey. I've had this one before. And seven one two. So I've been having a look around the canvas to identify where our special AB drills are. And the first thing that's jumping out to me is that the lovely green shade is in Newt Scamander's eyes and also along the edges of Picket, our little bow truckle friend here, down his little legs as well. The next thing that's jumping out to me is that our sort of beige AB here is all inside our suitcase here, which means this is going to glow, really stand out, totally pop, and going to look quite magical like it is. It's a magical suitcase, so I think that is going to be really effective in the background there on this suitcase. Now our third AB was that light grey and I can see that the it is highlighting all along the necklace and along here as well and our little individual beads that I popped off and down on this side as well. So that's going to make it really shine like jewellery and it's going to look really effective to give that extra bit of sparkle that would attract our little Niffler friend in the first place. Our fourth AB was that really unique darker grey and I can see here that we've got highlights of that and Newt suit up the top here, down on the inside, along here, inside his bow tie, and also on the edges of his wand and up here on his wand. So that's going to add a little bit of sparkle to new, make him stand out, especially as he's popping out the suitcase. It'd be really nice to have some focal points on new, especially this little bow tie here. And our last AB was the one for one, the classic white AB. And we can see that the highlights are inside Newt's eyes, an extra little bit of sparkle alongside the green, and also inside the little beads again, which will make them really stand out, really pop, really sparkle. So now that we've had a good look at the canvas, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on it. I personally think this is such a fun image. The colour blocking will be really satisfying to work on. It should fill in quite fast because of the colour blocking. Um, and I think as well, with it being a fantastic beast, I don't know about anybody else, but in winter it always makes me think of the Harry Potter universe. So this image just makes me really think 
winter vibes which is just ideal so please let me know in the comments what everybody thinks and as i say this painting is mutant nippler and i will have a link in the description to go and check it out for yourself thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.